right guys, so today I've got a weird one for you. I've got a really fucking weird story for you. And the Grom, I'm on the Grom and I'm behind an extremely, extremely slow. Oh, Harley riders, you don't want none of this. Oh, there's a police. That's the policia. Whoop, whoop, that's the, the, the police. Yeah, we are on the ground today. And we may get somewhere if this ambulance pushes its fucking gas pedal. But today I have a very weird fucking story for you guys. So, as you guys know, I've been doing these uh, videos the past uh, couple videos where I tell you guys some weird news. And uh, this one takes the cake. Takes the cake. So, I find this weird news by literally typing in weird news whoa, on Google. That was the biggest pothole on the face of the planet. And I have the smallest wheel in the world. And somehow I found a way to still hit it. But uh, I type in weird news on Google. And I just kind of scroll through all the shit that pops up. And today <laughs> I found a very, very weird story. It happened in the beginning of August, um, and if you guys have not heard about this, I am about to literally make you lose faith in all of humanity. So, as you guys know, Pokemon Go is a uh, kind of a big deal. Uh, it's been around for a couple months now. Uh, it, it, it is insane. Everywhere you look, if you go into downtown Boston, all you see are people walking around staring at their phones trying to catch Pokemon. I've been one of them. haven't played in a while just because I've been working so much, but... This story from Pokemon Go literally is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, so, wow, that's a lot of sprinklers. Thank God they're not pointing in the direction of the road. Granted, that'd be kind of weird, because why would you be uh, sprinkling the road like that one is? Um, so, beginning of August, this story came out of Moscow. Moscow, Moscow, whatever you want to call it. Russia. So, apparently, this young lady was sleeping. She woke up at 3 in the morning. And she claims she was being sexually assaulted by Charizard. <laughs> and this is... A, she, like, she took this very seriously. She woke her husband up, freaking out, saying that she was being raped by Charizard. Husband, like any normal guy looked over and said, go to bed. <laughs> probably thinking she was half awake, probably had some weird dream. Who knows? Maybe she had too much vodka. But she legitimately said that she had been raped by Charizard. She woke up. I, I guess she saw her phone. I, I'm assuming that's what she looked at. And she said that Charizard was sexually assaulting her. So... Uh, husband told her, go the fuck to sleep. And then... She insisted, no, I'm being raped by Charizard. And the logical next answer that he gave her was, you need to go see a psychiatrist. <laughs> he went back to bed. She refused to go to bed. She was freaking out. She called the cops. This bitch called the police and seriously told the cops that she was sexually abused by Charizard. Um... Obviously, they have to take any claims or whatever and, and say they're going to do something. Um, but she, she, she literally told the cops that she would, was raped by Charizard. They told her she was, okay, yeah, well, we'll look into it. Like, what, are you going to go fucking search for this beast? Uh, I guess she filed a, a complaint or uh, something with Niantic. Um, and I guess that she, her house is like a, a spawn point for this. Yeah, wow, good. I'm, at least she pushed her pedal. I guess her house is like a spawn point for Charizards. Um, so I, I guess they thought that she was a very attractive Russian woman. And that, you know, they were going to get the tip wet. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say to this. Like, this woman thinks that a fake fucking Pokemon... This fucking virtual creature was pumping her full of baby batter. Like, what are you, what, what, what are you talking about? Oh. I, I, <laughs> so, I guess she didn't contact a psychiatrist first. I guess she eventually did. 
um, and ended up coming to the conclu- conclusion that the psychiatrist the, the blah, 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 ended up coming to the conclusion that the psychiatrist didn't know what he was talking about and that that it was all a bunch of bullshit she didn't she she's mad that he didn't believe her and all of this nonsense so before she contacted the psychiatrist she contacted a local um psychic who also came to the conclusion what once once a a so-called psychic tells you that you're crazy you are fucking crazy because psychics in themselves they are crazy so, if a psychiatrist says, no, 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 you're, you're fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and a fucking psychic says, uh, bitch, I think you need to reevaluate your brain situation, you probably have a problem. So, I guess the police investigation is ongoing, but, <laughs> really, really, first thing that needs to happen is, this guy... He needs to get away from this bitch as quickly as he can because he's going to end up getting murdered by this bitch. She's going to wake up, think that he's like Charizard or something and just... So he better have... He better he better start training and get that CP up because he may need to fuck up a bitch because she has obviously lost her goddamn mind. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can click and see the full story. See all the juicy details of this Pokemon rape. But, I I don't know. I have two thoughts. One, guy needs to get the fuck out of there. Or two, maybe this is a kinky way that he could really spice up the bedroom. What if he just starts dressing up like Ash Ketchum? Or maybe she's in the black guys. Dress up like Brock. Who knows? Give her your onyx. (laughs) So I I honestly, I, I, I don't even know what to say or make of this. This bitch is nuts. So yeah, have you guys heard this story? about this Charizard rape, because if this is true, this is a huge danger to society. We need to figure this out, and we need to start rounding up all the Charizards, and we need to fucking get them out. We need to fucking take care of them, because we can't have Charizards raping our women. It's not cool. Not cool. I really think this bitch just had a little bit too much vodka. She had a very realistic dream that she was convinced was true. And she woke up and was like, oh my god, Charizard is such a pig. Can't believe he would rape me in my sleep. Could have at least waited until I was awake and asked me if I was looking for some Charizard tip. But really, come on, man. This guy needs to get out of this house because this bitch, she's lost it. She's crazy. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this uh, rather odd story. Uh, I'm very curious to see what kind of comments come up. And give me your best, give me the best thing, the best little uh, thing that uh, you could come up with Charizard saying. Like, you know how everybody uh, puts those, uh, the memes up of the, uh, the sloth whispering in the ear? I want to see what Charizard would say in the ear of this girl. So let me know down in the comment section what you think would happen. I got to pick up a description. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure enjoyed reading about uh, this thing and then letting you know about it. So hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Oh, that pocket spot, though. Yeah. All right, guys. Later.